too high g-forces can damage these units and especially the lens because the lens has a certain weight it's glass and inside they are moving lenses on a mechanical structure controlled by linear motors and stepping motors and all these moving lenses have a certain weight but if you apply g-force to the unit by knocking on it or by dropping it and stopping it you get much higher g-forces than the normal weight so and if you apply 10g to the camera by knock or falling all pieces 10g means they go 10 times more heavy so if the lens weight was 100 gram it becomes one kilogram and if you have 20g the 100 gram lens suddenly weights two kilogram at a certain point it will be that the forces working on the lens are so high that it will damage the internal structure that keeps the lens on the rails to move and something will bend and uh, then the practical fact is that the lens will be out of focus so it's very important to avoid too high g forces and if you have a separate lens then everybody knows you have to pack it carefully but in the remote cam, the lens is included in the system and nobody thinks about it as a separate lens. It's just treated as a box cam, not taking care about the lens. And so let's first discuss the flight case and this is an example of a too hard foam that will not protect the unit for shock damage. This is an example of a flight case with in foam insert that is not adapted to the weight of the camera so let me show you just with the torque meter on this small surface I push with two kilogram and the foam is maybe maximum one millimeter this is going inside so this foam is very sturdy the question is how to judge uh, how sturdy the foam should be for your equipment. Well, that depends on the weight of the equipment. This flight case and this foam would be nice if the equipment would be maybe 50 kg, then it would be adapted. But this kind of remote cams are not so heavy. So let's first weight it just to have an idea of its weight. So you cannot see the scale, but the weight of this unit is about 2.5 kilograms. Can you see now? So this is the weight of a HE 130, 2.5, 2.6 kilogram. Okay, so if you put the unit on your foam and by the way this is already a foam with cutted holes the foam should the unit should sink in with some millimeters so that would prove that it's adapted to the weight of the foam in this case the unit is standing on the foam even if there are holes inside so and a good test is to apply the same weight of the unit so I will push with about 2.5 kilogram and the unit should sink away with some millimeters into the foam to prove it can absorb a shock because this is what is happening when the case is closed and touch a hard surface whatever the speed is if nothing is compressing the g-force will be infinite so the only way to lower the g-force is that something should compress and take that the motion from the unit is not going from 100% to zero in an infinite short time so the ground if it's bendable can do this but if the ground is concrete it will not bend this plastic is very very hard 
so yeah that will not help so the foam must take the shock and allow the unit to slow the speed on a certain distance so not on an infinite small distance so it's very important that the weight of the unit and the foam matches as a guideline I should say when you put the unit on the foam it should sink in with about two to three millimeters now of course if you apply more force the, 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 the foam will resist more this is normal so the reaction of the foam is non-linear to show that the hard foam is not very effective to absorbing the shocks I have here an accelerometer and a hammer so we will knock on the box and to have an idea how many g-force we apply I just install the sensor on the box and give some knocks so I have an idea now how many how hard I have to knock to have knocks from about 1g so the sensor is three axes so I see red blue and green these are the different axes it doesn't matter I just want to have an idea what kind of g-forces we have and the direction is not so important so now I put the sensor on this side of the camera once I close the box it will touch the camera very well so let's see so as you can see <laughs> we have now a high reaction from another axis but that doesn't matter I, I, the, the sensor is in another position so now it's the blue who is feeling that axis but there is almost no difference I don't knock, knock very hard with this hammer really a little bit and you can see so that the g-forcers are really coming through very well so it means if this unit is dropped from a certain height to the ground you, you can have 30-40g easy and yeah they, they almost come through the foam and they can damage the unit